Yep. It's all right. I ain't here to cause trouble. Okay, girl. You best get the hell out of here. Yeah. Nice horse. Thank you. Yeah, I guess I'll settle down one of these days. Get yourself some to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. How you do? I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> <sighs> That ain't no 
kind of news to me. Hey, partner. How do you do? Old Mr. Henderson done flung his chamber pot at some kids messing around in his yard. Yeah. You're all right, girl. Hello. <clears throat> One book to happiness. One no entiendo. book What's wrong to with truth. You? One book to the future. My book. My book about the path to eternal joy. Money. Be rich. Sir, madam, make something of yourselves. I love you and want to make you happy. Hello, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Come here! Come here and buy my book! My book will change your life! My book will make you who you want to be! Rich! Rich is who you are, and rich is who you shall be! But you have to read the book! There, friend. Hello, How sir. How can I help you? Looking to eat all of that? Hello there. I'd be happy to buy it. Yo 
Look out! Why are you bumping into folk? Apologies. Bunch of shit! Good girl. That's cool, girl. That's How do you do? Girl. Come, please, take a pamphlet. Get the What is the matter with you? Oh, 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 what did they do to you, huh? Right. Oh, God. I'll get the load. Are you a new customer? Well, welcome. Come in. When you're ready, have a browse of our catalog, and I can go out back and get what you're looking for. Now, let me see.
Let me know if you need help. Maybe you think about it and come back to it. You ever thought about getting some enhancements for that gun? You shouldn't be there! This is a civilized establishment. Behave, please! Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. I've been covered in worse, friend. Huh. Just had to be me. Okay, then, girl. Ah, shut up! I'm tired of them riding through the streets. 
Cela ne me surprend plus. Well, well. Howdy, handsome. What does a dried up old hag have to do to get drunk Say around lovely. here? Please! Gentlemen, you're embarrassing yourselves. They're not even good drunks. Don't you just bratten up a girl's day? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, folks. Everyone's a liar at this table. That's no lie. Mais bonjour. So, what will it be? Bonsoir. Just give me a drink, quick. Quick. She's overdone it on the champagne again. So when you thirsty, boring. Ain't nothing else, am I right? Boring. All of you, you're all boring. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among a lot of you. This place used to be sophisticated. <laughs> Stories I heard would make a devil yeah, blush. Bonjour. They work in all the in New York. The devil's the gone elsewhere. <laughs> and we're left with the choir masters. <laughs> and not the fun kind. No, sir. I'll give this much. Huh? This here is real All right. Evening. The guy with the last salad of What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. Well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. Bien. Hello, you handsome man. Where do you want to do it? Yeah. Hey, y'all. Uh -oh. Bonsoir. Oh, Looks like it could be a busy you know night. Oh? <laughs> you take care. Take care, dear. Bunch of ignorant I've had better days, that's for sure. What a shame. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have an education. Daddy hired a wonderful tutor. Poor fellow. Who fell in love with my mother. Hanged himself. They say hang, not hug, when it's people. Down here, you say. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I'll have the girls make it for you. Just, just head on up. you in there, sir? Sure, why not? Good choice. Good choice. Hmm. <laughs> Ain't a woman here do a better job than me. Let me know if it's too warm. So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, not much to fuss about. You might be the friendliest person <laughs> I've met in this town. I know. Things get a bit crazy around here sometimes. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Yes, certainly.
still a lot of tension. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. Hope to see you again. Beats working in a factory. Reach, sister. No, thank you. Plenty more All right, hey there, sir. Hey, mister. Hello. Hey there. Saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Hey there, partner. You know, there's something about this place. Yeah? Vous if you're about it, chase or take a what poster. The hell is if you're going anything on else, you? take a seat. I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. 
One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounties for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all the remains is to bring him in. Remember, they forfeited their right to life as well as liberty. <laughs> when I bust out of here, I'll give that damn sheriff a taste of my boot. Will you hush? Why, hello there. I need a ticket, please. Please, through those double doors. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low. And the show held without a profit, to me, it's true. Yeah! For it. it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? Oh. 
The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my Show head. Us how it's done. Oh, I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. Fire! That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Christ. Let's do that again. Hmm? Alright. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This Trash. is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying ah. to watch the show. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. Nobody cares! Is no one man enough? Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take a. Oh, gonna fight is too much. This is incredible. And fire. Just an illusion, after all. A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, 
I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino! She sure is hot! here, huh? <laughs> Incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Kaninsky! Hello! Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called 
The telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to Saint Denis. And they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! 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 I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. They connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. From Blackwater calling. Oh, Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from my baby mom. tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Oh! Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night. Dream well and come back soon. Oh, with the show. Come on back later. I'm sure I'll have more tickets soon. You know... Let women vote! It's time to let women vote! 
Hey, move it! My apologies. Let me vote! Let me vote! Let me vote! I can say this all day. Let me vote! Let me vote! Let me vote! I will say this for as long as it takes. Sorry. Come on, people! Let me vote! Madam? You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Bonjour, monsieur. You're walking away from history, you fool! Women and men both. Hello, how are, how are you today? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. yourself hey mister hello you must like yeah. living here Somebody you sure told me that a few folks have gone missing out of the bra apparently so sorry mister won't you support our veterans and their families think of what they sacrificed for everybody Mind you Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please! No! Oh, you bastard! The man just robbed you. I saw it. Get after him! Let women vote! What's your problem? It's time! I didn't do to that! Let women vote! Christ have mercy! Thank you! Don't need to This man's crazy! Come on, please! 
with just a bit of cash. Hey there, partner. Yep, this is the right place. All right. Everyone is well versed into who we are after. Ha, so let I us go over find here. Them. God damn it. Spread get out. those hands or I can see them. Okay, em. I get up. Go, go, go. That's it. I'm bringing you in now. Glad this didn't have to get too ugly. How are you? Look out! You're back. Welcome. Now, let me just look in here. Please, peruse at your leisure. I carry only the finest items. That is a local favorite. If you have any questions, you just let me know. People around here come in just for those.
I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. And there you are. My man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? That's it for now. How do you do this? you get when you cross me? Another soul going down to hell. What happened? Looks like he's worse for wear. Okay, off you go then. I'm just minding my own business. Like that man there was till you clocked him. You trying to start something with me? Oh, have I hurt your feelings, officer? Need to beat someone else up now? How dare you! Damn you! Shall we? Okay, throw me in jail. I'm through with this shit. You're mine. You slipped up this time.
morning, mister. Hi there, folks. Welcome, sir. I do love a first timer. All right, then, let's make something beautiful. Oh, yes, the Congo, the setting of all great portraits. There are actually bordellos around here we could go to, if, if you'd prefer. Everyone will think you went to ancient Greece for this photograph. What fun! As good an option as any. Thank you. I hope it turns out looking somewhat human.
these days, ain't you? Moment's peace. Excuse me, partner. Stay, girl.
Easy, Wofford. I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Let's make a stand, boys. You heard, Lindsay? Get to your places. We're seeing some fight today. <laughs> Wait, girl. I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing, if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, man. Come away peacefully and you can live, Mr. Wofford. Someone take the big gun! You heard, Lindsay? Get your place and we're seeing some fight today! Now, do this the hard way! He got Lindsay, but he ain't taking him!
It's okay. Okay, my girl. Yeah. Yeah, you good girl? You're a brave you See girl. that coat? That's Lindsay Wofford's. We're gonna take that body, mister. It's worth too much for you. It's a piece of you, Mr. Wofford. Now, let's get you back.
against you with cold heart. Giddy up! Just pretend I'm not. Oh, wrong. great! I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the terror of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. That's what they were, and not a penny more. That's it. Okay, then, girl. 